I got it out of the dollar box. A what? The dollar box. Dollar box? Yeah. Isn't that what this front one is? What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. As you can see, it's practically dark still outside. It's about to be daylight savings. That's actually pretty beneficial sometimes because people can look over things because it's dark so they're not going to be able to see it as clearly. So when I get down there at, you know, 7, 7.15, then there's still, you know, really good stuff for me to go find. So today we are going to head back down to Kobe's. It's 6.45 right now, so we're going to get there right on time. Let's go see what we can find. Hello. Thank you. This is all yours? My neighbor. Oh, okay. You promise? <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. I got it out of the dollar box. A what? The dollar box. Dollar box? Yeah. Isn't that what this front one is? Ha! <laughs> got it! <he. laughs> no. No? What do you want for those two? Ten bucks. Ten bucks for both? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What do you got on all these? I got this one ten bucks and this one is uh, seven dollars. Seven dollars? Yeah, because the, the, the box is a little damaged. I see. Any deal if you get more than one? Oh, well, if you get ten. If I get I ten? Get, yeah. <laughs> you get ten, I give it for five dollars. What if I this get one, four? This one Anything if I get four of them? Well then, <laughs> good day, mate. How much for all this? 25 for this? And what else? How about 30 bucks for everything? 30 for everything? Yeah. I shine under pressure. You 25 for all of it? Yeah. 25? Hey, okay, you got a bag for me? Yes. Five dollars for the bag. <laughs> Here you are. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Princess Diana is one of those iconic figures. Does it work? Yeah. What's it do? It just moves.
Oh, that thing's cool. I mean, it's kind of tricky, but... Yeah. Oh. You have to learn how to do it. Oh, that no. thing drives, I see. No, they drive it. There's some magnet here? Yeah. I'm not that good at it. Oh, that thing's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Three pieces for ten. Five dollars each. Five dollars each, gotcha. No, three for ten. Or three for ten. Oh, so I gotta find two more things, huh? Mm -hmm. Three for ten. Huh. Excuse me. You got change? Money. Yeah. I got these three. Thank you. Have a good day. I just got back from Kobe Swap Me and today we struck gold quite literally. So what I ended up picking up were these two cards. So this first one is a Mark McGuire card. It says history breaking 60 second home run and it's in this gold leaf 24 karat. I know Mark McGuire, I think he played on the Padres for a while, then went on to the A's and maybe even the Cardinals for a little bit. But this gold one I figured had to be worth something. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on this. Um, I also got this DC Comics holographic card on the back. It says 1992 Series 1 uh, Collect All 10 Milestone Hologram card. But it's in this protective sleeve, so I always tend to look for that because like the Pokemon cards that I'm getting graded, those are gonna come back in a protective sleeve as well. So I would assume that if someone's putting it in this sleeve, then it's gotta be worth something. And then as I was digging through that bucket, I also uncovered a seven book set of Pokemon Adventure comics. So the guy originally wanted $30 just for this, he said, but then he said he would give me everything for 30. I really only wanted this. I wasn't super interested in these cards, but at that point I offered him 25. He went for it, so I ended up grabbing everything. These I looked up and they're going for about 40 to $60. They're in really good condition. The box is a little messed up, but the book itself, as you can see, is in perfect condition. It's super cool because the comics you read from the right side to the left side, so it's a bunch of stories. I think these were modeled after the show or vice versa. Not totally sure, but like I've mentioned, Pokemon is really big right now, so I'm sure I'm gonna get you know anywhere between 40 and $60 for this. So the first thing that I actually got was uh, this Pokemon tin as well as these card holders. So I'm not totally sure if the vendor knew, but if you listen, there's actually cards inside here. So the tin itself is super cool. You can see on the side, it's got all of the energy cards. Um, there's, you know, a red side and a blue side. It says Pokemon trading card game. But if you actually open this, there are a ton of cards inside and they are all in a sleeve. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research. Uh, these two only cost me $10, so one good card can pay for all of this. Finally, the last vendor that I went to, I actually saw this Roku. I figured he'd probably want anywhere between 10 and 20 bucks for it. These are really expensive, but what they were doing was a one item for $5 or three items for 10. So that's obviously the better deal. So I grabbed this Roku to make sure that nobody else picked it up. So what actually caught my eye, I am a San Diego State alumni. Go Aztecs. Um, but I opened it up and inspected it. There's not a mark on it, 
and it's practically brand new. So I picked this up as well as this brand new Budweiser backpack. I figured they're small, they're gonna be easy to store if they don't sell for a while. And all these three items for $10, that was an absolute steal. So overall, an absolutely killer day down at Kobe Swap Meet. So if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe, drop a comment below, and turn on your notifications so you know when I post my next video. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.